Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back today with another tutorial. Today, we're going to be talking about how to create sweep nerves with text. So, uh, this is pretty useful. Uh, you can do a lot of cool things with this, and it's actually pretty simple and straightforward. So, with that said, let's go ahead and get started. So, the first thing we're going to do here is go up to the Draw a Freehand Spline object icon. So, uh, let's go to text here, and we're just going to do a, a letter at a time. So, I'm just going to type in S here. We're going to go to font. Let's go ahead and change this to one of my favorite fonts, which is uh, Reboard. So let me find it real quick. There it is. All right. And um, uh, basically, the next step to do here is let's go into our four view panel and let's go to the top view here. Enlarge that. Let's go back up to the spline tool. Let's go to the B spline option here. Let's just click somewhere here in the top view and then we'll click and drag right here. And then we can uh, keep clicking and we can actually make a nice little curve. Okay, so something like, make like a little S curve. And, uh, all right, that doesn't look too bad. Let's um, see if I can select all these points real quick and just drag this over a little bit more towards the center. So basically the whole objective here is, is drawing a text spline and a regular, or just draw a freehand spline like so. And make sure the text is above the regular spline. And let's go back into the spline icon and go to, or actually, my bad, go into the hypernerves object uh, icon and go to sweep nerves and then drag both of these into the sweep nerves like so. And then you can see it extrudes our text just like that. So um, let's see, what could we do here? Um, well, if you wanted to, you could animate this by playing around with the start and end growth all you'd have to do is like for example bring this number up control left click to create a keyframe and then right here say on frame 50 bring this back down to zero percent control left click and uh now we got a pretty basic animation here you can see the text kind of extrudes all right uh, so not too complicated um, if we wanted to make this smoother we could go back into the nerves object go to hyper nerves drag the sweep into the hyper nerves and uh, that would definitely help kind of smooth this out even more to make your text look smoother. Um, definitely don't have to do that if you don't want to. It's all up to you guys. And um, yeah, so that looks uh, pretty decent, I guess. Um, you can still adjust and modify your spline if you don't like the way it is. See, I can still drag this over if I wanted to. I can still make adjustments to um, the spline, which is pretty cool. So. Um, yeah, so like I could drag this over, hide the text for a second, and I could still modify the spline uh, to pretty much do whatever I want it to. So turn the text back on, and you can see it takes on a whole different uh, shape there. All right, so what I'm going to do here is um, I'm just going to make a simple little word out of all this, and uh, I'll go ahead and fast forward through the video while I do this. You can guys can uh, follow along if you want. Um, you don't have to. But uh, that's basically how it's done, guys. It's really that simple. All right, guys. So I basically, uh, all I did was copy and paste each one, as I hope you could see, and just... Um, go into the text and just change the letter to whatever I wanted it to be so I spelled out this word called soft um, so yeah that's basically how you extrude um, text and pretty much give it any look you want um, alright guys so that's basically how you do it um, it's really simple uh, from here you could just uh, go into your materials and create your own materials and drag them on there to the to each individual letter so I guess I'll go ahead and do this real quick set up a short scene um, let's do that let's, uh, command C com or actually whoops let me undo that real quick command C just so we can copy this go to window content browser now I'm gonna be using Grayscale Gorillas um, one of his studios that he has created uh, we use this one right here. Okay. You can follow along too, guys, or you can pretty much do whatever you want. I'm just showing you 
kind of what you can do with all this stuff. Um, let's just place this right here. Right, and uh, let's go ahead and give this a quick render. You can basically see the effect we have going on there. Um, it's pretty neat. Let's see, even add in some ambient occlusion if we wanted to. It would take a little bit longer to render. Alright guys, so there you have it. Um, that's basically how you extrude uh, text and whatnot um, using Sweep Nerves. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you guys did, please leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. If you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. Please like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, once again, thank you, and I will see you guys later. Peace.